Hello, hello everyone. I hope you're having a wonderful day or night whenever I post this video. But Boom Studios has released some preview pages for the upcoming Mighty Morphin Power Rangers issue 105 as the recharge story arc continues. And I've been loving it so far. We had Alpha 1 returning, we've got Mistress File, but not only that, the comic just keeps getting crazier and crazier with each issue and I'm loving what Melissa has been doing with this run so far and I can't wait to see where she's going to take it next so let's talk about these preview pages if you don't want to get spoiled click off this video while you can I got plenty of other content coming on the channel later out throughout the week and the month and stuff like that I'm slowly cooking out stuff making some plans but let's talk about these preview pages so let's get right into them let's read the blurb as well new players are added to the board as the power rangers continue their frantic search for their missing green ranger meanwhile the omega rangers have encountered perils of their own is help from one of the power rangers most twisted enemies the advantage they need or are they being led into a trap so that last bit is really interesting because i'm pretty sure maybe this was written before the whole alpha one stuff so speculation that draken might show up you never know you never know but let's look at the cover the main cover looks pretty cool we've got Rita and we've got the dark specter glowing face there uh, we've got Matt sort of being tied up and no one knows what's gonna happen to Matt a lot of speculation a lot of theories a lot of people think he's gonna be evil a lot of people think he's gonna become a host for dark specter no one really knows at this point and it's been kind of mixed opinions in the fan base where Matt is going to go. Because Matt has been a controversial character in the fandom ever since he became the Green Ranger. Some people love him, some people hate him. Uh, I like the dude, I think Matt's pretty cool. Um, here's the other cover, you've got uh, Goldar, Scorpina and Rita. This one is like classic Mighty Morphin when you look at it with these characters right here. I like this one, it looks really cool. And... Yeah, without any further ado, let's get into it. So, it opens up with the Omega Rangers training, our brand new Omega Rangers. Uh, we've got, oh shit, what's his name? Please bring it up. Oh, Kavor. There it is. So, he's sparring with Zack, and this uh, page is mostly them talking about Journey and how they miss them. And this pages, or these pages kind of confirm or tease that Zack and Trini are now in some kind of relationship. Now, if you read Mighty Morphin Pink back in the day, those two characters were in a relationship. It was kind of out of nowhere, so I wasn't the biggest fan of it when it happened. I mean, I wasn't the biggest Trini and Zack shipper. Um, but if this issue is going to... If, blah, 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 if this issue is going to explain that and sort of show how they get together and how they start dating, then I guess it sort of retcons it or fixes it or it bridges the gap, whatever you want to call it. It makes sense. Um, but this artwork is really freaking nice. Really nice. Um, but Zach and Trini, interesting, uh, interesting couple. I'm wondering if maybe Zach is the father of Min. Probably not, because then you're going to have to bring in the whole comics and TV show continuity and that whole jazz, which a lot of people get heated when you bring up the comic continuity and the show's continuity. Um, but that's a story for another day. Um, but this artwork looks pretty freaking cool. I like this one. Trini making like the anime face. I like this one. This one's cute. Um, and then we've got Yale back again. It's been a while since we've seen Yale. But this sort of leads them sort of finding the signal that Alpha 1 attacked them on. But they do say that they're looking for the Death Ranger. So this line here is interesting. Castine, an ancient planet in rich Morphin grid energy. Most notably, one of the homes of the former Morphin Masters. Also, last known location of the Death Ranger. So that part's interesting as well, because we know that our heroes are trying to look for the Death Ranger. The Omega Rangers are trying to find the Death Ranger. Um, the Death Ranger is coming back if you've seen the uh, preview uh, preview covers for issue 106. So we'll see how that turns out. I am curious to see how the Death Ranger is going to come back. 
I feel like it's a little bit too soon for the Death Ranger to come back after the Death Ranger was built up to be this big final boss in issue 100. But hey, I guess the Death Ranger is also a fan favorite character and they want to bring him back. So we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Um, so then we cut to the present and we have the Stone Canyon Trio and Kimberly leading them, which my memory, my memory was blank. I thought Tommy and Billy went with them, but... Tommy's still banged up uh, from last time, but we sort of have the Stone Canyon Trio meeting Alpha One. Uh, they they got uh, Rocky and Adam make a joke, uh, saying that Alpha One's out of warranty. And whenever I see Alpha One, I picture um, Richard's like Zim voice coming out of it, not the AAI. I picture like it's sort of like that Zim voice, Invader Zim voice coming out of him. Um, but yeah, uh, this is where the preview pages sort of end up on, where Alpha One is attacking our heroes, which I wonder how they're going to get out of this one. Um, which I do wonder if they're going to show what happened to the Zord and how that got into a wreckage. Because a lot of people are kind of upset about, some people are upset about that, that Alpha One somehow mysteriously took out the Omega Zord. But like I said in my review, if he jumped them, then it kind of makes sense. Um, but then we come back to Earth, and we have Tommy and Billy having this conversation where Tommy's worried about Kimberly and the others, but Billy knows that she'll be fine because she knows how to lead the team. But then we get an interesting note here that Tommy's white ranger powers, or the white light, is slowly healing his injuries. So the white light is pretty freaking powerful if it can do that. Like, out of nowhere, the white ranger powers can heal his injuries, but I'm guessing that's what it's like for a lot of rangers. As long as they don't get too banged up in the suit, then they can sort of walk away with certain injuries here and there. But it looks like Tommy's white ranger powers are sort of like the most powerful powers we've seen at the... Well, apart from the Mega Omega Rangers, are the most powerful powers we've seen in Mighty Morphin for the Mighty Morphin team at this time, excluding the Omega Rangers. So that makes sense they can heal it. Um, but I do wonder what else the white light can do. Um, but then they're discussing Zed. And Grace is going to move Zed into Promethea probably. So yeah, they're the preview pages. Really interesting. Uh, really interesting stuff. Also, I didn't mention it at the start of the video. Uh, Ranger Command, Power Hour. Awesome people, awesome podcast. Check them out. I highly recommend it. I should have brought that up at the start of the review. Oh well. I do apologize. They're awesome people over there. I highly recommend checking them out, giving them a watch, giving them a listen. Really awesome people there. But anyway, guys, what are your predictions for Mighty Morphin Power Rangers issue 105? What are you thinking of this story arc so far? I'm loving it. I love the Boom Studio comics and what they put out. And I'm really excited to see what they're going to put out for the 30th anniversary as it's teased that we're probably going to find out what the next story event is going to be called. And that's going to be called The Darkest Hour, which... Once we get the press releases for it, I'm definitely going to cover it and talk about it on the channel. But until then, sit tight and let's keep talking Power Rangers on the channel. So with that said, I'm bringing this video to a close. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out, take care, bye.